compared to last year, we were all talking about ideas. But this year, as we have just uh, heard, that uh, we are talking about the real cooperation, particularly the cooperation between Taiwan and India. For today, I must say that uh, our thanks goes to the Mr. The Eber and uh, Mr. The Izo who is sharing with us the, the uh, life experience in this industry 4.0. Uh, this should be our goal. And as we have the, just heard, an ideal may take a long time to achieve, but we can start small. From this, uh, I really appreciate Professor Jen to show us from the academic angle about how to the, go to the ideal. And he even suggest a, the real approach of what is he called hybrid approach. That's we can achieve in shorter time. That's as we, for this uh, 4.0, that's efficiency and uh, short time to market and so forth. As uh, for the, the real applications, that's uh, Dr. Waisi Chang led us through all the discussions, the Advent Tech and uh, the Itris is experienced by Professor Tang. And also, we really learned how is the India, the current situation. We have we are very glad to hear that this is a time for the Taiwanese companies or Taiwanese people to go to India. And this workshop should play an important role in bridging the two countries. Now, from what I can gather in this effort for industry 4.0, the key words is certainly integration or, and the convergence of different technologies. This, uh, Integration and, and the convergence should emphasize the completeness. So everything has to be a total solution in order for it to be easily adapted to a society or to a in industry. So here, this, uh, we have to have the infrastructure, as Professor Tang was emphasizing. Without the infrastructure, everything is just the empty talk. Also, looking at what Siemens has achieved. It is a massive integration. 
not only it require massive investment, actually, what is not the easily shimmed are the basic technology involved. So I'd like to bring up a question. Well, the, we downgrade it to the productivity 4.0. My question is, how are we prepared for industry 4.0? We still have the basic technology to build up. And this must start with human resources. That's, uh, we have the, her, that's the Siemens is, will be helping us for the training of people who the, some kind of certificate. But how should our educational institution respond to that? We need to build up the basic science and technology before we talk about the industry 4.0. And that's uh, Today, certainly, we have learned a, a lot and that we understand each other better. And I hope this kind of discussion would go on and that our cooperation could, could be actually realized, not the just end up with a banquet at the end of the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> and so I the wish that everyone will be successful in whatever endeavor of your choice. Thank you very much.